Ladies and gentlemen, today on The Breakdown, we are looking at the version 1.2 developer notes for Weathering Waves. And there is some exciting things coming. I haven't read all of it, but I do know one thing that's coming. And all I can say is Genshin could never, right? So let's go ahead and dive into these notes. Actually, before we get to that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Weathering Waves video comes out. And leave a comment about what you think about today's video. And don't forget to check out my sponsor, Gamersubs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. We got a huge sale for waifu cups coming this Friday with a bunch of different merch. And I hope that you all are going to be like me and participate in it. Hold on. Let me, let me do this real quick. We're a little off center. There we go. But let's dive into these notes here. So Weathering Waves Developer Message Volume 4 Version 1.2 Optimization Preview with a special note from the developers. Let's go ahead and first check out the new custom lock-on function. Now, again, I've already talked about this. I have, or I already said this at the beginning of the video is what I meant to say. I have not looked into these. So these are brand new to me. In version 1.1, we implemented several uh, quality of life improvements on the auto lock-on system, including optimizing for resonators and some echo skills with the release of 1.2 you'll gain access to a new custom lock on feature under settings control the option allows you to set the auto lock on priorities of enemies based on your combat preferences okay so it looks like we could go movement direction camera direction and distance okay that's cool i mean it i have times where the camera does kind of go wonky but most of the time i'm not even locking on enemies so this could be a good uh thing for me, because I, maybe I'll just log on to enemies more often. Uh, new utility hover droid shooter. Uh, we've heard your feedback regarding the need to frequently switch between teams when there are no pistol using resonators available for challenges like the photon vault or similar puzzles. In version 1.2, you'll be able to use a new hover droid shooter utility. Once the utilities feature is available, you can equip the hover droid shooter in the utility wheel to shoot with the hover droids. Simply tap and hold the basic button act, or act, uh, attack button. That's good because I got sick and tired of switching to Mortify from my main team. So now we actually have something that helps with that. Good job because that was getting annoying. Okay, so. Sorry, I got to wet my whistle a little bit. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that. That's actually really, really cool. So new feature, store excess wave plates. Okay. A new feature to store excess wave plates will be introduced to version 1.2. Once you reach the wave plate cap, you will receive wave plate crystals instead. These crystals can be exchanged for wave plates of equivalent value. You will regenerate one wave plate every 12 minutes up to 480 wave plate crystals. Once the limit is reached, you will not gain additional wave plates. Thank you. I think more gotchas need this system. It started out uh, from what I saw in Honkai Star Rail. It might have been in other games too, but Honkai Star Rail was the game that I first saw it. I'm glad that they're finally doing this as well. Thank you, Kuro Games. Thank you. New Resonator Showcase feature. Ooh, what is this? With the release of 1.2, you can view and display the convened scenes of unlocked resonators in the Resonator Showcase. Yes! Thank you. That's like a wallpaper. And I li like, honestly, the thing is, <clears throat> the thing is, I like that because the, like, you could see it in the screen. That's so sick, bro. I love that. 100% I love that. And you could, you could pull it up in the actual, like, profile screen. Yes. Bravo. Curl Games, that's a big one. I just realized I'm like short king today. That is such a good update right there. I love that. Uh, option to play in 120 FPS. Oh my Lanta. Preach Kuro games. Do your thing. Slay baby girl, slay. All right, One, 120 FPS option will be available on select PC devices in version 1.2. Yes, thank you. All right, so we got new Def of, Depths of Elusive Realm. Uh, thank you for your love and support of Depths of Elusive Realm. 
Uh, as we approach the final stages of version 1.1's Dreams of Blaze and Darkness event, the White Cat will bring new exchange items in the Elusive Store. To help you try out and level up more Resonators, we will add more exchange items in the Elusive Store in subsequent versions of the Depths of Elusive Realm event. These items will be available on the Convene events for the second half of each version when released. You will receive a system mail reminder after the exchange items are added. Please remember to exchange the rewards after fully exploring Depths of Elusive Realm. More guidebook activity points from Daily Quest. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there we go. I think, that, I think that this is needed because I find times where I have a hard time. But, like, not always. But there are, like, once every, like, week, I'll be like, God damn it. I can't actually, like, get the full 100 points that I need. Uh, with the release of 1.2, the activity rewards for the spend 180 waypoints or waypoints daily quest will be increased from 20 to 60? Hey, yo! That's an insane increase. I'll, okay. I, I'll i be that guy. I think this is great. However, I don't think it needed to be 60. I think it could have been 40 or even like 30 and it would have been fine. Um, 40, probably the better bet, but 60? Dang. All you gotta do is that, or you gotta spend 180 weight plates and do your daily quest and you're done. Withering Waves is just winning, okay? And here it is, baby. A special note from the developers. Version 1.2 in the Turquoise Moon Glow is coming soon. And this update will introduce the Moon Chasing Festival event and dedicate ourselves to address any issues that have impacted your experience so far. We're well aware of many aspects of Weathering Waves, still has room to improve and we're committed to listening to your feedback and continually optimize and enhance the game together we aim to create a better solaris 3 and offer you more thrilling adventures we are excited to announce that everyone will receive the five star resonator zhang liao for free during the second half of version 1.2 say it with me everybody Kenshin could Never, dude that's such a huge win now again i'm going to say this and i want people to understand that this isn't me like taking sides or anything like that i don't think that there's anything that curl games could truly do to remedy the the people who were like affected by you know the email links or links email leaks and all that stuff like i don't think there's any way to truly fix that however they're still showing a lot of remorse for the stuff that happened with the release and i think that shows that they do care about their image and they're trying to make it better getting somebody like zhang liao with the stuff that i've seen on him is pretty nuts right and he's just free these dev notes are absolutely bonkers like this is just a whole bunch of wins and i don't think anybody could come out of this saying oh this is a terrible update notes i don't think so if you're in the comments and you say this is a terrible update patch i think you're crazy because this is just huge wins overall uh being able to have up to 480 weight plates stored uh on top of like your normal stuff that's extra like res well not resin but extra like stuff to use like for daily stuff uh, you have the elusive, uh, elusive realm stuff that they were talking about where we could get more stuff to like level up our characters faster. You get this home screen stuff like I think or not home screen, but your profile screen summoning animations. I think that's such a cool update. I wasn't even asking for that. And that's cool. The, sh the little hover droid shooter update is already insane. Being able to play in 120 FPS, that, like, dude, this update is just absolutely bonkers. If you truly think there's anything wrong with this, uh, with these update notes, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinion on this. That being said, Kuro Games, big win on this episode of Breakdown. Thank you so much uh, for continuously listening to your fan base. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the notes below. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tyser for 10% off. And as always, we will catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.